Welcome to Echo Oswald Weekly Review of Trending Stories. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome to the show. This is where we talk about the juiciest and the trending stories of the week. We talk about politics, we talk about lifestyle, we talk about entertainment. You're welcome to the show once again. Now let's get into what we have for you for this week. UK Prime Minister writes to Novo ahead of inauguration, says, I look forward to working with you. The UK Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, has written to the President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinobu ahead of his inauguration. In the letter seen by the media outlets, Sunak said he looks forward to working with Tinobu, who won the presidential election on the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC in February. Sunak said he hopes to welcome Tinobu in London in April 2024 for the second Africa Investment Summit. Prime Minister said the UK will continue to support Nigeria in addressing its security challenges through the sharing of expertise and tools. Sunak added that his government will continue liaising with Tinobu and his team. <music> Sean rumors I am strong, Tinobu says, on arrival from France. President-elect Ashiwaji Bola Ahmed Tinobu returns to Nigeria after a 32-day vacation in three countries following the conclusion of the 2023 presidential polls saying he's strong and ready to hit the ground running. An energetic looking Tinobu was just touched down at about 4.30 p.m. on Monday at the Nnamdi Azikwe International Airport, Abuja, arriving in company of his wife, Oluremi, and son, Sheyi, to a cherry welcome by his supporters, stalwarts, and member of his ruling All Progressive Congress, APC including members of the now-dissolved Presidential Campaign Council, PPC. <music> Lagos State Government demolishes illegal buildings in Banana Island. The Lagos State Government on Wednesday embarked on the demolition of illegal buildings in Banana Island area of the state. The development was part of the state government's efforts to tackle the frequent cases of building collapse in the state. The exercise was carried out by officials of the Lagos State Environmental and Special Offenses Unit and the Lagos State Physical Planning Permit Authority. <music> Varsities have offered to admit Nigerian students returning from Sudan. Abike Dabiri Erewa, chairperson of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NITCOM, says universities in the country have made offers to admit Nigerian students returning from Sudan. Dabiri Erewa spoke on the reputable media on Thursday. She said the safe return of the stranded students was the priority at the moment. She assured that the continuance of the education would not be a problem. The NITCOM chair said the federal government had ensured students who were evacuated from Ukraine continuing their studies and would replicate the process with those returning from Sudan. On Wednesday, buses arrived to evacuate Nigerian students and the ongoing crisis in Sudan. Nidcom said the buses will take the students to the Egyptian border from where they will be airlifted to Nigeria. <music> Bob Risky confesses huge crush on whiskey. Popular cross-dresser Idris Okunaye, aka Bob Risky, has admitted having an immense crush on the Grammy-winning singer Whiskey. The alleged transgender woman confessed to having an enduring crush on the Afrobeat singer. According to her, Whiskey is the only guy in Nigeria she has a huge crush on. She revealed this on a snap, accompanied by the picture of the Oju Elegba Kruna. She revealed this on a snap, accompanied by the picture of the Oju Elegba Kruna. <music> Gifts rain in the hair. Has top and celebrate 60th birthday with Equa senior citizens in grand style. Honorable Abiodun Tobun, the member representing Equa constituency one in the Lagos State House of Assembly, took to the tiny Oladun Joyes Old People's Center, Equa Lagos, to celebrate his 60th birthday on Tuesday, April 25th, 2023. The lawmaker danced and played with the elderly ones at the center. Tobun's birthday provided an entertainment space for seniors as they participated in various games for their pleasure. 
The celebrants capped off the joyous occasion by presenting several valuable gifts to a hundred of eight people present at the event. Gifts included cash, fabrics, drugs, walking sticks, high glasses, food items, and other helpful items. Tabon said the motivation behind the event was to thank God for sparing his life over the past six decades. The lawmaker also noted that he chose to celebrate with the seniors to give them more assurance of a better living conditions. <music> 70 Springs of Life McGuinness Olu Otumbusin's tale of melodies and milestones. The Eastern community is bracing up again for another pretentious moment comparable to the great epic moments that have defined its landscape as a northern Nigerian immigrant is set to celebrate seven decades of existence and over 40 years of meaningful contributions to the vibrancy of Houston's economy. In recent times, Houston has not witnessed a moment of such unparalleled euphoria that will lead to a total shutdown of the bustling economy. However, that is all about to change as the week of April 28th, 29th and 30th approaches. On these auspicious days, friends, family members and well wishers we gather to celebrate the legendary contribution of Dr. Olumuyiwa Otsubusi, a true embodiment of altruism whose tireless efforts has helped alter the course of humanity. Ilstein is set to enter a state of complete lockdown as the pulse of the city will race with the fervor and excitement of the event taking hold at every corner of the city. Honorable Wale Raji set to commission the primary health care center in Iraq. The soon to be commissioned primary health care center in Iraq, Eredo LCDA, that was facilitated by Honorable Wale Raji, is not going to only meet the health care needs of the people of Iraq and the environment, it is going to also meet the water needs of the residents. With an installed 22,000 liters capacity of solar powered water plant, the residents are appreciative of the kind gesture of the legislator and our expectance of the commissioning of the facilities for public use. Thank you, Honorable Wale Raji, for getting developments closer to grassroots. Six. And it's a wrap, viewers. Thank you very much for joining us on this episode of Echo Arts Blog Weekly Review of Trend and Stories. Feel free to join and comment. And do well to follow us on all of our social media platforms. Do follow us on Facebook, Instagram and on Twitter and do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done that. Until I come your way again next time, I am a Kongwe follower. Do stay safe. Bye.